G'day, so we just turned off the uh, main main road out to the Kreb track. The Kreb track stands for Cairns Regional Electricity Board track. I don't think it's used anymore. It's mostly just for full drivers. It's one of the more difficult tracks that's up in this Cape region. It can be quite steep. It's got one pretty serious raw water crossing and it's uh, the, quite that like really soft clayey mud. So on the hills it can get a bit sketchy. So it doesn't normally open until later in the season, but we're pretty lucky it's opened early and we're gonna give it a crack. We've got Isaac, and, and Juddy in the Amarok and we've got John T and Imogen in the BT50. We've fallen a little bit behind but we're going to catch up to them and meet them at the start of the track and then we'll give it a crack. Should be a whole bunch of fun. Alright, that first water, water crossing was a bit deep. I think that's the worst one of the track. A um, little bit over the bonnet, but my car's pretty low, so to be expected. Got a little mud hole coming up here. Um, let's see how this one goes. have to give it a bit of a send, I think. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't want to be doing this track with a brand new car, that's for sure. There's lots and lots of um, growth here, like it wouldn't be good for your paint. Yes. Lucky my paint's already rooted. So we're about an hour into the into the track. Weather was looking alright, just started raining. Things could get really, really difficult here if it starts to rain. So there's a real possibility of having to camp on the track, but we'll see how we go. Um, you know, it's like having fun is all well and good, but if you go up one of these hills or go down one of these hills and lose traction, I mean, your car's, you're gonna write your car off. So you've gotta be careful and be smart about the way we do things, but it's been pretty good so far. We'll see how this rain affects it though. How's the patrol going? No talk about the patrol. <laughs> So that last hill there, um, that's a good example of what happens when you get a little bit of rain on these clay tracks. They get really, really slippery. And something that's completely easy in the dry becomes quite difficult. Um, 79 series, we let another group through and 79 series got stuck in front of us. They had to winch out. Um, we had a go, we saw what they did and we just had to hit it with a bit more speed. And um, yeah, we didn't have too much trouble, bit of wheel spin. Um, but yeah, all a bit of fun. Nothing to say. Pretty easy so it's far. Easy. 
So the, the hard part must be coming. <laughs> a little bit slippery, some of the rocks, but... Yeah, it's just the mud on the rocks. Yeah. But, yeah, no diff lock yet, so... It's a little bit of low range. Mm. That's it. How's the Amarok going? You like it? Yeah, it's all good. A little bit lower than the rest, but... That doesn't stop it, so... What do you know, it kept raining and the track became very slippery. We ended up hightailing it out of there. It took us about four and a half hours to finish the track and by the end of it, it was getting pretty slippery. It was a very beautiful drive straight through the center of the Daintree Rainforest and I definitely recommend it.